What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. Today in the news we have some pretty interesting stuff from Shelby American. That being they've just unveiled their new 2020 Shelby GT500 Dragon Snake. Think about that. The new Dragon Snake GT500. Did you see that coming? Personally, I did not. I think many of you might be wondering, wh well, where did the name Dragon Snake come from? No, it's not a completely made up name. Dragon Snake actually refers to a classic Shelby, that being a Shelby Cobra. There was actually a drag focused Shelby Cobra that was built back in the 1960s called the Dragon Snake. So essentially, Dragon Snake refers to a drag focused version of a Shelby vehicle. With that in mind, the new 2020 GT500 Dragon Snake is going to try to accomplish the same goal as the classic, become a pure straight line car. That's the idea. I think this is going to be the first ever modified version of a 2020 GT500. Can you believe that? You may be wondering, well, what exactly do you get with this Dragon Snake upgrade package? Initially, just looking at this car, you can tell that this ain't no stock GT500 anymore. The rear wing is massive. Look how big that is. By the looks of it, it seems like it's completely carbon fiber. Also, you get special Shelby Dragon Snake badging all over the car with all new wheels and a new hood. Here we are on the Shelby American website. This is the official press release that came out today. It says right here, the 2020 Shelby GT500 Dragon Snake will be exhibited in Ford Motor Company's display at SEMA this year. So basically this week at SEMA, we're gonna be able to see what this new Dragon Snake GT500 actually looks like in person. I'm excited, I'm looking forward to this. Gary Patterson, president of Shelby American says, our research and development team continually pushes the bleeding edge of performance. These concepts are an exploration of new capabilities, new technologies, and potential new models. We optimize each vehicle for a specific task by leveraging new innovative ideas. Now we're seeking feedback from enthusiasts about the pair, including their thoughts on potential production. The Shelby GT500 Dragon Snake is a modern take on a proven Shelby philosophy. During the 1960s, Shelby American offered a drag racing version of the Shelby Cobra called the Dragon Snake. Given the new Ford Shelby GT500's dual clutch transmission and stout 5.2 liter engine, Shelby American reimagined Ford's new Mustang supercar for that same mission. Again, this is going to be the drag racing, the drag focused version of the new GT500 offered by Shelby American. Vince LaViolette, Shelby American Vice President of Operations and Chief of R&D, says the new 2020 Shelby GT500 is truly amazing in stock configuration, but we wanted to explore its pure acceleration capabilities. So we work closely with Ford Performance and other partners to create the ultimate weapon of track destruction in the quarter mile. I wonder how fast it's going to be. I don't think it says anywhere on this press release how fast this new Dragon Snake GT500 really is in the quarter mile. What exactly did they do to this car to make the Dragon Snake? Okay, so here it is right here. It says the Shelby team's design for the Dragon Snake adds more power to the car, so 800 plus. Unfortunately, it doesn't say exactly how much horsepower we're looking at, but I'm guessing maybe around 850 or more. However, I'm just not sure. Shelby also revises the suspension for maximum grip and straight line acceleration. They also lighten the car. They retune the DCT and modify the bodywork, including unique wheels. A wide body option is also being considered. That would be very interesting. A 2020 GT500 with Shelby American's wide body kit. I wonder how that would look. If you didn't know this, the 2020 GT500 already has a wide body front end. Again though, I wonder how it would look with Shelby American's official wide body package on top. Please let me know in the comment section down below what you think about that. Would you want to see a new 2020 GT500 with Shelby's wide body kit on? In addition to the engine tune, Shelby American added high flow catalytic converters, new lightweight glass work, and other innovations. And I think this is it. This is the official brochure for the new 2020 GT500 Dragon Snake. Looking at it, you can tell right off the bat, the front end, the front bumper at least, looks stock. But right above it, you do see a new hood. The brakes look to be the same. You get new wheels, special Shelby badging on the sides, and a massive new rear wing. Look at that hood. Oh, okay, so the design, it looks to be the same design as a stock 2020 GT500, but Shelby added extra vents on either side of the main vent. And here are a few shots of the interior. So for the interior, the seats haven't changed. The inserts look pretty cool. I don't know, it could just be me, but the inserts remind me a lot of a, of a snake. The scales of a snake. 
And right above the C inserts, you'll see the Dragon Snake logo, Dragon in blue and Snake in red. This is the rear wing of the new 2020 GT500 Dragon Snake. What do you think? Please let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on this rear wing for this drag focused 2020 GT500. I want to see this thing in person. This looks crazy. And here we go, the standard features for the 2020 GT500 Dragon Snake. So performance wise, you get a Shelby suspension system with MagnaRide enabled, front and rear springs, and front and rear sway bars. You get a Shelby supercharger upgrade, a windshield and glass package, so I'm guessing lighter weight materials, performance half shafts, a full exhaust system, including catalytic converters, mufflers plus exhaust tips, in parentheses, catback system. Exterior rise, you get a carbon fiber hood. Okay, so that that's interesting. Now, yes, it looks very similar to a stock GT500 hood, but a great benefit of this one is that it is made of carbon fiber. Personally, after lifting the hood on the new 2020 GT500, it did feel a bit on the heavier side. So having a carbon fiber hood instead is really going up with that. You also get a drag style carbon fiber spoiler, one piece forged aluminum wheels, hardened and extended wheel studs, performance tires, a wide body option, Shelby hood pins, and special striping and badging. Interior wise, you get the custom Shelby leather interior with serialized CSM numbers. And I think that's it. This is the 2020 GT500 Dragon Snake concept. Please let me know again what you think in the comment section down below of this package. Do you like it? It does look a bit on the edgier side, I think. I can't wait to find out how fast this thing really is in a quarter mile. But one thing that's a bit iffy to me is that, as you can tell, it still has, I think, 20 inch wheels in the rear and the normal stock brakes. It looks like this car is not going to be like the Dodge Demon of Shelby's. That being with super skinny front wheels and super small rear wheels for extra grip, which would allow for drag radials with extra sidewall. I'm interested in finding out how well this thing is actually going to launch. So again, please let me know in the comment section down below, what are your impressions on this Dragon Snake GT500? Looking at it, it seems like this package is designed for the base model GT500s because the base model GT500 is really the car designed more so for the drag strip versus the carbon fiber track pack version of the same car. The track pack comes with a lot more downforce and carbon fiber wheels. Odds are you're not going to want to get this package if you did order a carbon track pack GT500. GT500. Honestly, I have to say a base model GT500 is already very fast in the quarter mile. When I first drove it on the drag strip, I think I was getting mid 11s in the quarter mile and the drag strip was not in a good condition whatsoever. And the elevation really does affect the performance of the car. And we're already seeing this car hit tens in the quarter mile online. Having the same exact car, but with 800 plus horsepower instead, I do wonder how much quicker it's going to be. Will it go into the nines? But again though, those tires, I'm not sure how that's gonna hook up. This is gonna be very interesting. We're finally gonna see what a modified GT500 can do at the drag strip. And when you look at that, it seems like the striping and the paintwork actually extends onto the spoiler. That's super interesting. Also, look at these wheels. Well, what do you think about these wheels? Do you like them? And you like the special badging on this car. The one thing that really concerns me is that, let's say you do order this new GT500 with painted over the top stripes. How would Shelby work with that? That being if you had a new GT500 with the $10,000 stripes, getting this upgrade package, would they paint the stripes on your new hood and the rear wing? Basically to make everything just match. Cause you wouldn't want to throw out that $10,000 out the window and have vinyl stripes with your painted stripes. So that's going to be a big thing. So hopefully Shelby is going to have a workaround for that. I'll be honest with you, seeing this upgrade package for the 2020 GT500, it does make me very excited because as you know, deliveries should start roughly in a week or two. And from there on, we're going to start seeing GT500s in customers hands. The wait's been just so long now and I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait to see what actual owners do to their cars. Plus we could consider getting a package like this for our 2020 GT500. The question is though, what could a company like Shelby American do to a carbon track pack GT500 to make it faster around the racetrack? Personally, I think carbon fiber is gonna be a very viable route. That being to lower the weight of the GT500 as much as possible. I don't know, I guess we're just gonna see what happens. 
Make sure to stay tuned for a ton of great SEMA content coming your way. I'll be there all week this week. I can't wait for it. Super excited about it. And we will see this car on display. I do wonder how it's going to look in person. So stay tuned for that content. It should be a ton of fun. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out. And subscribe for much more great videos to come. But while you do that, hit that notification bell so that you do not miss a single video. Thanks again. I'll see all of you in the next episode.